Hit me, turn that beat up, man. Yeah. Run up that check and do me knock off. That nigga day the mouth off. Thinking it's good for God, you want some outlaws. Coordinations, nigga. What is up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy King Reckless back with another video. First off, before I start this video, I want to appreciate the 4K subscribers I have. I really appreciate all y'all rolled to 5K. I will be doing a giveaway at 5K. I don't know what I'm going to give away yet. Y'all let me know in the comments what I should give away. I was thinking of like gift cards. But just to really show I appreciate y'all, I was going to do like a $100 gift card. Not no like $30 one, none of that. I don't know though. I could even give away a... a I don't know. Honestly, y'all let me know in the comments below. Say I appreciate y'all. But today, as y'all can tell by the title of the video... We will be doing an oil change on my Scat Pack Challenger. For y'all that don't know how to do an oil change, I know there's some kids that are watching me that probably don't know how to do oil change. This is going to be a quick video to show y'all. You need, of course, the uh, two ton, I mean, mine is a two ton, but a trolley jack. And I have these two because I'm going to lift both sides up. And then for the oil, you're going to need seven quarts. I have six right here. And then one on the bottom. And I have the oil filter. I got this all at dealership. It's cheaper when you go to the dealer. But my brother is supposed to be helping me. I mean, I know how to do it, but he's bringing... Well, actually, he went to AutoZone to buy a uh, oil thingamajig. So when the oil comes out, it can go in the uh, container. But we're going to go ahead and lift this car up while I guess we're waiting on him. You're also going to need a 13 millimeter piece to remove the screw from the oil where it's dripping. But yeah, let's go ahead and just get this thing lifted up. Let me show you my car real quick. Got the reindeer ears on with the nose. That thing looks so sick. I went on a cruise the other day and everyone was really eyeing it. I had a lot of people come up to me like, damn, this thing looks crazy. I need to buy some new reindeer ears though. These are kind of flimsy on both sides. Need to clean the car again too after that cruise. But like I said, we're gonna go ahead and lift this car up. That's our first step. So I'm gonna put y'all right here. Quick problem, this is why I need my brother's help. I totally forgot. This jack is not even going under. So I'm, I put those right there, so I'm gonna put my tire up on it. Move this out the way. Give me some room to uh, get under there. Another fell, I forgot the keys. Wasn't planning on starting it, but y'all about to get a quick start. A cold start, I said a quick start. I also need to change my brake pads and my rotors. My rotors are kind of out bad. They got them burn spots. These I do not know how to do, so I'm gonna have to take them to the t uh, take them to the shop somewhere. I'm not even gonna chance that. Like, mess around and not even be able to brake. Damn, that car looks crazy. Reindeer ears on. I'm gonna hit 40k soon, that's gonna be a sad time. And we straight now. So much more room. For those that wanna see, this is where I put mine. I don't have one of those jack magnet things, so I have to like, just do it just like that. And just go all the way. Put the jack stand right there. And now we just take it off and do the other side. See it's on there nice. And now we just do the other side. All right, you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. And it should be lifted up like that. I gotta go put that jack over there. Gives you way more than enough room to work under there. Okay, now I have the both jack stands on both sides. This one is not touching it yet, but I always leave this under just for like that's three protections. What that falls, that's good. That's good. I always leave this is that's just me. I always leave that under there. So now we're gonna pop open the hood, and then you're gonna take this oil uh, thing off so you can give it 
room to breathe and the oil will come out faster. So you're just gonna take it off like this, bam. Just put this anywhere like that. You are ready to go. You got the two jack stands underneath. Car is lifted up, you took the oil top off so the oil can flow faster when it's releasing. So now we're gonna go ahead and have all this ready. So when my brother gets here, we just put in the oil. Bam, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven quarts of oil. This is the oil for my Scat Pack 2015. Those that want to see Penzo Ultra Premium OW40. Bam. We got the oil filter right here. And like I said, you can order all this stuff from Amazon, but I needed this done quick. So I just went to the dealership and picked this all up. It came out to like 80 bucks. It wasn't that much. So we got the oil, the oil filter. And now we're ready to get under. Oh, I didn't know my, pe my piece was still right there. I'm not gonna lie, I thought that fell off. Y'all always gonna be like, y'all gonna roast me because I don't have my splash guard in the front though. I don't, it's missing, I need to buy that ASAP too. One of them screws came off though. Well, I guess you gotta take those four off, I'm about to show y'all. Okay, so you're gonna need a 10 millimeter to take these four off. And one of them is missing, so I just need to take off three. And right after that, you're just able to start draining the oil, doing what you need to do. There's one we got, there's two, and there's three. Of course, there's supposed to be four, but I don't have one of them came off, I guess, while I was driving. This is how it should look. That thing is off. Now you're free to this. Let's get this out the way. I mean, there goes the screw right there. You're going to need a 13 millimeter to take that off. So I'm going to swap it. And your oil filter is right next to it. It's pretty simple. Okay, I went ahead and swapped it to the 13. And now I'm just waiting for my brother to bring that uh, pan so I can empty the oil on and take the filter. So that's really about it. Y'all stay tuned too. My brother recently just bought carbon fiber for his full, uh, his full on interior. That's gonna look so damn nasty. He got it on a Black Friday sale because he usually goes for like 400, but it was half off Black Friday 200. He got the whole interior kit. So y'all stay tuned for that. I'm gonna make a video on that. And then the stripes when he puts them on, I'm gonna make a video on that because this man's Mustang's gonna look nasty. He got big plans coming. All right, I guess while we're waiting on my brother, y'all can enjoy this funny video off of Devin Walsh's YouTube channel. I'm gonna put his uh, name right here, but y'all go check it out. I'm trying to figure out who's sick. I'm trying to figure out who's sticking gin is this. Cause that hoe is kind of look good. How it stands out. Whoever this is, I like it. Shoot your local Huron dealer. <laughs> That's funny. That's, that's heroin, Devin. The number you have died. Alright, after a hundred years, my brother finally came through. He's finna take off the oil plug. Damn that lights in the way. There you go. Alright, YouTube. We just got the uh, oil screw out. It was a pain in the ass. I'm actually gonna need to go to the dealership and buy... Put this on. My hair's crazy. I'm actually gonna need to go back to the dealership and buy a new screw. Like, we completely stripped it out. My neighbor came in and helped. Shout out to him. He got an STI. We got some videos coming. Don't do what I did. I literally stripped the screw. Now I'm about to take the oil filter out. Let all that drain. Put the oil filter back on. And then we're good to put the oil in. We got the oil filter out. As you can see over there. It's done dripping. We're going to go ahead and put the new one in there. I'm going to lubricate it a little bit. Bam. It's lubricated. Lubricated. Now we're going to go put this right back in. And we can start putting oil in. So now you're just going to put the seven quarts of oil in the oil tank. You're just going to get any type of funnel. The hell is that? Oh, I hate grasshoppers. I ain't going to lie. I totally hate... Hell no. That was going to have to die soon. You ready to meet filmmaker? Shit, yeah. Hell no. I fucking hate bugs. Oh, that hoe can fly. They can have that. They can have that. All right, put this oil in real quick. We're done. I took this out because my neighbor told me it's better, better flow. Did not know that, so appreciate that tip. So let me put this in actually. All right, we got the last one right here. And this job is done. It's all you doing. It's all seven quarts.
and we are done now all you got to do is take this off make sure it's all dripped out put the cap on bam so recap oil cap is on put this back in oil filter is on is it blurry all right youtube we are done i got my brother taking it off the jack right now say what's up, what's up? <laughs> i'm telling y'all stay tuned on this man's car he's about to put the stripes back on you can't see his car he's about to put his stripes back on and carbon fiber the whole interior but y'all keep it g y'all comment below and let me know what y'all think looks way better people saying no stripes but then people saying stripes so it's dark right now, so I'll put a picture up right now with stripes and without stripes. And y'all let me know in the comments. Sorry for that wind if it does pick up on the video. But yeah, we're completely done. Oh, I do got to reset the mildest thing on the screen. I'll show y'all that right now. Scat Pack logo on the bottom. Damn. Oil life. Hold OK to reset. Damn, that feels good. I told you I need new reindeer things. They're messed up. Yeah, but like I said, this is just a quick video on how to do an oil change. It's not that hard. I did need help today because that screw was on very tight. I'm talking about very tight. Like, my neighbor was even struggling, but I appreciate him. So, shout out to you, dog. We got some videos coming out. He literally got my number. He got an STI. We got some videos coming out. But there's my brother's Mustang. It's way better when you do an oil change yourself. Because one, it's cheaper. And two, you really feel like you did something. But let me go ahead and back this car up. Alright, he's telling me let it run for five minutes before I do anything. I'm gonna let it run for five minutes and I'm done. But hope y'all enjoyed this video. Quick, informative video. Uh, I got some videos coming out this weekend. I got Turtle Vlogs coming down. Y'all check out his channel. But I'm gonna go ahead in this video right here. Uh, I'm King Reckless and I'm out. Peace. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.